Over the weekend, I did a stream regarding the GOP primary debates, and oh boy, what a laugh a minute that was, but it's been a minute since we looked across the aisle and see what the Democrats have to offer. We all kind of understand that, well, Joe Biden's not quite looking, he's not quite looking to be the same Joe Biden that we've seen in 1973 when he was just a spry 58 years old. So yeah, obviously they're looking to restock the bench at one point or another. Other, and well, we got a couple of sterling examples as to why the Democrats, are, they're just, they're just, they're just a laugh riot. Last week during, I do believe, yes, the House Oversight Committee, a star was born. Yes, indubitably, you had Ms. Jasmine Crockett, who... I didn't hear about before. I thought that she was a newcomer or something like that. Somebody brand new on the scene. Obviously, does have some political experience as well and comes from Texas. Uh, I was thinking Austin, maybe along the southern border, but no, 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 no. I, I couldn't quite think so. So I just went and, well, I figured it out. I pulled up the old Wikipedia article in order to figure out that she's from southern Dallas. Where it's like, okay, that kind of makes sense, including Tarrant County, Dallas Lovefield Airport, and that area. A very strong, democratic area which yeah of course if you go down to the election results that are down here she won 75 to 21 and yeah just a bunch of other people leeching off of that so she's gonna be around for a while and i'm thinking you know just by the looks of her and by her tonality and uh, vocabulary i was thinking that we were in for somebody who's like what brand new on the scene like 26 27 years old and then i looked and i just about fainted for a second this bitch is 41, 42 years old. I undersold it. No, she was born in 1981. 19, yo, man, black don't crack. Holy man. Like, I was completely and totally taken aside by this, but then I took a look at her early life and career, and it's totally, it, it, it totally makes sense why she's talking the way that she is. Went to law school, obviously born in St. Louis, Missouri. Oh, okay, so a carpetbagger. Went to Rhodes College, 2003, bachelor in business administration. Undergrad, uh, planned to become an anesthesiologist. Oh my God, so she was going to be a nurse or a certified public accountant, but then just simply landed and uh, got herself, uh, got her JD and then opened up. Uh, she was going to work as a civil rights attorney because of course she is. Uh, she works as a public defender at Bowie County, well, kind of dropped off precipitously uh, before establishing her own law firm. And now she's in politics because she was such a successful solo practitioner. During the George Floyd protests, riots, nah, whatever, we don't need to get bogged down in the details, Crockett and her associates took on pro bono cases for several Black Lives Matter activists. Fantastic stuff. And yeah, looking at her Instagram account, you know exactly what she's all about. So even if you didn't see what made uh, our, our guy over there in uh, the right hand box look like that well i i got a little clip for you guys and good thing it's only a minute 22 because president of the united states has committed but when we start talking about things that look like evidence they she's 42 years old guys 42 you want to act like they blind they don't know what this is these are our national secrets looks like in the shitter to me <sighs> oh my god this look and then, yo, even AOC's right behind her. AOC, she's also probably looking over there and it's like, this bitch is totally stealing my spotlight. Just being an airhead. Some people probably want to fuck. It's like, oh my lord, what is going on here? Looks like more evidence of our national secrets say on a stage at Mira Lago. Yo, the guy right next to him, I was watching it. Like, I seen the full length. It's like five minutes long. And yes, you will lose brain cells off of this. If even Jamie Raskin's looking down from, you know, the back row and the AOC's expression at that point in time is just what are you doing and Raskin's like can you just like calm down for a second and brother right next to her is just going Oof, you better calm the fuck down at this point in time but all right when we're talking oh, about somebody wave. that's committed high crimes it's at least indictments let's say 32 counts related to unauthorized retention of national security secrets seven counts related to obstructing the investigation Yo, look at those eyelashes right there. The more that I hear from this, I don't think we need to hear anymore. I think you guys probably got the point. But the hair hat, the Lee Lee Lees, 
Uh, the long extended nails, the vernacular and the tonality. This bitch doesn't deserve to be in Congress. She deserves to be getting yelled at by Myron to tell her to go ahead and put your shoes on outside. You don't have to do that in here. These, this is the best that the DNC has to offer. Okay. And this dummy ended up running it back on CNN. Oh my God. This was yesterday, by the way. Okay. Democrats newest star Congresswoman Jasmine Crockett says her rant shows that the Democrats can bring bring it to we, we need like we already knew that okay they were going to go ahead and they were going to push the envelope on that and they always have and they always will they're the ones calling for violence in the streets uh maxine waters you know her great 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 grandmother was the one who was down there you need to go down you need to accost them at the, at the gas stations at the, at the restaurants they can't be safe wherever they go you have to you have to accost them in the streets it's like yeah okay nana we get it we get it kamala harris also financially backing all of the riders from 2020 and then also saying that they can't let up so it's like yeah we already knew that you guys were gonna go ahead and stoke violence and oh just you bringing down the quality of conversation in the house of commons is or not the house of commons rather the house of representatives it was too busy talking about nazis up in canada's parliament or earlier but don't worry about that she just thinks that all the republicans in the chamber are also nazis but she's gonna give them a piece of her mind in a very original take about the democratic platform oh lord Right now, I think historically, and, and I applaud those that have come before me, Democrats have always wanted to be the ones to say, this is how we are supposed to conduct ourselves. And they really, really by a gutter language in the House, like for a very brief period of time. And they did end up repealing this, even though they did push the envelope. And yes, Democrats are very good at continuing to push and push and push. Eventually they'll overstep, but then they'll, they'll walk it back. If they overstep by five steps, instead of walking back those five steps, they'll walk back three. So yes, they are continuing to push the envelope, but they ended up going a bridge too far with the John Fetterman rule where he could just roll up like somebody who was living on the streets in the middle of Washington, nowhere near where, where all the important people work. But yeah, he was allowed to wear his hoodie and his basketball shorts, which Christ almighty, if you look around at everybody and they're in sharp dress, okay, even uh, Ms. Jasmine, mm, she was wearing her Louis Vuitton, which is, oh my, I just, another thing that I didn't point out, but something that is, yeah, a little bit too on the nose there, stupid, but all right. If you have the audacity to roll up in a hoodie and basketball shorts and you look around and everybody else is sharply dressed, don't, wouldn't you think that, you know, that that side of the aisle would have a little bit of, I don't know, shame? Oh no, sorry, that's completely out of the way. Let's go back to the shameless wonder. I think that just by maintaining that type of um, decorum, that... MAGAs and others will respond and do the same, but they don't. And they don't, they don't. The MAGAs and the others don't, they don't. So sometimes you gotta make sure that they know that you can bring it as well, right? Oh my God, that's, that, that's the best that the Democrats have to offer. It's so great that they're gonna be uh, trying to make a, make a star out of her, send her out on the talk show circuit because well, they think they think that she's going to be off limits because, uh, you know, she checks a requisite amount of boxes. And, you know, for some people that are going to be out there on the right daily wire, they won't, they won't go after her because she's a woman and, oh, she's just being silly. She's just one congresswoman. That's fine. Or they'll just make 5,200 different videos on her like they will AOC, but never actually push back or, you know, in order to try to stoke for change. But this idiot right here, she said shitter. She unironically said shitter. Like, it's a funny word that you can use if you're making toilet humor, like actual toilet humor. Like, there's good jokes that you can make, and I never, ever, ever, when it comes to comedy, want to take any word, even though there's one that's right there at the front of my mind that's screaming right now. Actually, there's a couple. But no, you know, for the sake of a joke, sometimes the funniest word is the cleanest, or it's the most depraved. But when it comes to saying that, oh, you know, Biden's not corrupt because Trump had documents stored at Mar-a-Lago. Okay, cool. I love your game of whataboutism. It doesn't really get to the bottom of anything, but that's where we're at now in today's day and age when it comes to politics. It's soundbite games and Miss Hairhat right there. Well, she's the current champ, but not the current champ of controversy. That comes in the form of another giant lumbering idiot. Jamal Bowman. 
you probably heard about this recently as well. And during my previously mentioned stream, I also did touch on this because it was while well, breaking earlier that day. On Saturday, I headed the stopgap bill that ended up funding Congress because, oh, thank God they won't have to shut down the government, which wouldn't affect anybody's lives at all. But no, 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 they passed the bill, but not before an insurrectionist decided to play their final trap card. Jamal Bowman draws doubts after claiming the fire alarm poll adjusts the mistake his GOP demands socialist House member be prosecuted. He absolutely should, because he went a step further than even those dastardly January Sixers. They didn't pull the fire alarm, but this idiot did. And heavy emphasis on the idiot, because, well, his excuses, or at least his people's excuses for his idiocy, it's either he is too stupid to serve in the House, or he's an outright liar. Neither are good conclusions, but they are the obvious ones that you can draw. A growing chorus of lawmakers and political observers are raising eyebrows at Representative Jamal Bowman's claim that pulling a fire alarm in the House building was an innocent mistake, with some expressing anger over the fact that he hasn't been arrested. Hopefully that changes. I'm recording this on Sunday, you know, maybe maybe there will actually be some follow-through on some very, wor very strongly worded statements by the likes of Kevin McCarthy, but they're too busy trying to prosecute Matt Gates for, I don't know, asking Kevin McCarthy and those establishment hacks at the front of the GOP to do their fucking job, but no, 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 you need to go ahead and, you know, tackle the gremlin with the giant head, whatever. The outspoken socialist and New York lawmaker was caught on camera pulling a fire alarm Saturday, and yeah, he is very outspoken, okay, like, we, we already knew, man, like, the, the writing was on the wall with this idiot as Dom Lucre ends up pointing out Democratic Congressman Jamal Bowman isn't ready to face the music after pulling the fire alarm. I speak for all Americans when I say arrest that... <sighs> Knitter? I did. Oh, Nita. Sorry, that's their word. Allows teachers to carry. Carry guns? Would you? Would you? More guns lead to more death. What the fuck? More guns lead to more death. Look at the data. You're not looking at any data. This is a serious individual. He decides to take it all the way up to 11, knowing that his staffers are going to have phones around, and then that'll end up making making the rounds. You know, you could have a nice, calm conversation. This was after some school shooting or something, and he's like, we need to take all the guns! It's like, just calm the fuck down for a second, you sped. But no, this is the same guy who doesn't understand that an emergency exit isn't a fucking doorknob. He's literally that dumb, if you couldn't tell from that spurg out. Congressman Bowman didn't realize that he would trigger a building alarm by pulling the fire alarm. Uh, he wouldn't end up triggering... Yeah, come on. Come on, you gotta come up with something better. As he was rushing to make an urgent vote as chief of staff, Sarah Ids, Ids, whatever, is an idiot, uh, later wrote on social media the congressman regrets any confusion. No, 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 he committed a felony. Come on now. But Bowman's response to pulling the clearly labeled fire alarm in the Cannon House office building left many scratching their heads, and some of the fiercest GOP critics called on him to be thrown behind bars over the incident. Yeah, no, exactly. Will Congressman Bowman be prosecuted and imprisoned for the very dangerously, oh, for very dangerously pulling and setting off the main fire alarm system in order to stop a congressional vote that was going on in D.C.? Former President Donald Trump declared, yo, shout out to the big T. It was very dangerous, dangerous. Obstruction of an official proceeding, the same that is used against our January 6th prisoners. Act Actually, this may have been even worse because it was deliberate, okay? Nobody was taking him around, showed him the sides, going, hey, look over there, there's the door. I, I, I know that you're not used to looking at some of them, but, you know, eh, well, your people told me to come and show you some of the doors that are around. And that one right there, oh, you know what? J Jamal, 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 you need to get away from that. That'll, that'll trigger the fire. What are you doing, J Jamal? Hey, no, no, oh, oh, you ended up triggering the fire alarm. You, you did that on purpose. Okay, I like the January 6th people. Oh, they were let in by some of the Capitol Police Department. I, I don't know. They were, they thought they were on a, a guided tour, folks. They were just they were out there uh, just with their, cock, or their cocktail flags and just waving them, loving America, and just making sure that everything was right and upright on January 6th. And then all of a sudden, what happened? What happened? They end up going behind the bars. They end up, they end up getting in prison for years on end without trial. Will that be the same thing that happens to Jamal Bowman? I doubt it. I doubt it at it. Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene conveyed a similar sentiment. But yeah, you know, she's not out there rattling her cups, so you know, she's actually pretty spot on when it comes to this. Jamal Bowman must be treated exactly the same as the January 6th defendants. He was a school principal. And yeah, you know, George Santos, who is fucking hilarious, by the way, 
and did an instructional video on how to pull a fire alarm. Yo, that motherfucker is great, okay? Because his his story is so sketchy, it would end up passing as a Jackson Pollock painting, but he's still in Congress, man. Like, he's hilarious. And then for him to call you know, Jamal Bowman's a terrible excuse out, that shit's fucking great. But something that the, uh, that the Democrats are exceptionally good at, covering up for their own fucking stupidity, because you have AOC defending Jamal Bowman. <laughs> oh my God, that is, that is eight degrees of just absolute idiocy. Eight degrees, also. Relative IQ of incoming Democratic representatives. Uh, leaps to the defense of Jamal Bowman, claiming he pulled the fire alarm in a moment of panic. Nothing was happening. I, I don't know what you were panicking for, stupid. At a government shutdown vote, as he bla uh, she blasted the GOP for protecting George Santos. See? You're just gonna go ahead and uh, slip that in right there. Again, it's all whataboutism from stupid Jasmine Crockett. Well, Trump did something and he can't prosecute for it. And now AOC just going, yeah, but you guys have George Santos. It's like, yeah, okay, what has he been convicted of? Miss misappropriation of campaign funds hmm do we want to talk about how you became a millionaire or how you've been under more investigations for how you run your campaign christ almighty you would think that there would be a republican at the end of your name progressive congresswoman alexandria ocasio cortez has leapt to the defense of fellow new york representative jamal bowman i think he's also a part of the squad as well so yeah of course he's the only he's the non-threatening burnt stay puffed marshmallow man of the group aoc told cnn's jake tapper who was actually having none of that shit just going this is so fucking stupid like what no nobody's that fucking dumb okay and if he is he shouldn't be a representative on sunday the bowman's actions occurred in a moment of panic exacerbated by the pressure and chaos of attempting to avert a government shutdown imagine being that fucking fragile well we did kind of see it in the clip right there you guys won't do anything it's like jamal you're a fucking adult no i'm not shut up you can't tell me what to do no you're not my mom oh my god also not his father <laughs> to be fair he probably doesn't know who he is i think there's something to be said that the government's about to shut down there's a vote clock that's going on and the exits are normally open in the building we're suddenly closed no that's just not the case because we got evidence after this one tapper responded so he pulled a fire alarm uh aoc <laughs> then attempted to defend her colleague by attacking gop for protecting new york congressman george santos whose face in <laughs> an indictment centered on money laundering and lying to congress something that aoc well i'm a bit of a money launderer myself uh bowman put out a statement claiming that in a rush to make it on time to the vote for a stopgap spending bill ah uh, that uh, would keep the government open he activated the fire alarm mistakenly thought it would open the door but for as much as you know bug eye and big tits want to just make this seem like oh this is much ado about nothing we actually got some pictures of the uh mistaken fire alarm that's down there and then all of their requisite signage that just proves that well jamal bowman's full of shit uh, new picks throw cold water on representative jamal bowman's excuse for pulling fire alarm in house building yeah images of the fire alarm that representative bowman pulled in the house office building as his fellow democrats were trying to delay a key vote to fund the government appears to douse claims that he thought the move would open the door the bright red alarm is clearly marked with the words fire and right next to two signs that provide explicit details on how to open the emergency door to the Canaan House office building photo show. The only thing that I would like to know is where do those doors lead? Like if that goes nowhere close to the chamber, he's going to have more explaining to do. Well, frankly, I just kind of want to hear his excuses because they're all just so bad. Today, I was rushing to make a vote. Yeah, yeah, I don't need to hear your nonsense. They're stupid because Th that was the site that he was greeted with and by the way okay he had to go past this sign which you can also clearly see right there and then you can also see the other two signs that are there emergency exit only push until alarm sounds push until alarm sounds door will unlock in 30 seconds and that's what both of them says it's like okay cool if you thought that you could maybe open those doors by i don't know did you have a key or something like that but then you thought no the key's probably behind this clearly marked fire alarm unbelievable yeah there it is there it is how do you get confused by that how do you think anybody would give you leeway did you really think that you being black would get you out of this like were you just relying on nobody criticizing you because of your race like is that where you're at you're just gonna flaunt that so much because there's no other way to excuse this it's like i was gonna pull the fire alarm there's literal cameras around every fucking corner okay stupid and look at the way look at that goes straight out to a the fucking park you're you're not going you're not racing to a vote like what are we doing it's not confusing at all former michigan republican congressman Joe 
just or Justin Amash wrote on X. Uh, there's a bar to pull the door below the sign. Members of Congress see these signs all the time and know exactly what they mean. I can't even imagine thinking it has something to do with the fire alarm pull on the wall. Stop excusing his recklessness. No, exactly. And you know what should happen? He obstructed an official proceeding up to 17 years in prison. March him out. March him out in cuffs, man. Give him the mugshot that he so desperately wants. Make an example out of him. Throw the book at him. But you won't. But you won't. And again, now because the Republicans are trying to make this big stink about this internal investigation, they're going to end up fumbling like they fucking always do. And this is why I detest the Republican Party. This is why the GOP can fucking set itself on fire for as little as I care. For as much vitriol as I have for the Democrats, at the end of the day, I have so much more for the GOP because, you know what? You're supposed to be the opposition. You're supposed to oppose all of this fucking nonsense. But you can't get out from under yourselves you guys have a golden opportunity to make examples of a bunch of fucking miscreate idiots jamal bowman aoc and stupid jasmine crockett they should all have their political careers fucking ended in an instant for acting out of absolute ignorance but you won't instead of somebody within your own party trying to hold you accountable for stupid fucking decisions you're going to go after them instead of going after the actual target oh my god this is why i like trump I fucking hate Republicans. So with all that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.